you can now transfer your crypto inside of Webull and then also outside of Webull. It is definitely one of the best features that Webull has rolled out specifically for cryptocurrencies. This might be a game changer. All right, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Finance with Nick. Now on this channel, we go over everything that has to do with finance, making money, saving money, investing, everything. Now, if you like videos like that, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a whole lot. And during the course of this video, if you learned anything, hit that like button, help us out with those YouTube gods. Now for today's video, we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to transfer your crypto inside and out of Webull. Now, up until recently, if you bought cryptocurrency on Webull, it's staying on Webull. But recently they created a new feature which is still in beta. So you gotta ask nicely if you uh, if you wanna be invited into the beta club. Now the process is uh, not super easy, but also not super difficult. It's like, it's right in the middle. It, it does take a minute. And it also seems very secure in the process. Now there is network fees, but Webull specifically does not have any fees itself. So let's get into the entire process from start to finish on transferring your stuff from Webull outside. And the process works exactly the same same in reverse. All right, now we're just going to we're going to do this live uh, just so you can see how the whole process works. All right, now the first thing that you're going to want to do is bring up Webull and then click on the asset that you want to transfer out or in. Um, and then at the bottom of the page, there's a little circle uh, with arrows pointing left and right. That is the beta crypto wallet. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click it. All right, so we're going to click it. And then as you can see, you can either receive uh, Bitcoin or you could send out your Bitcoin. Now for this example, we're going to send out our Bitcoin. Um, all right, then you got a little face ID and then it is going to send you a verification code to the number attached to your Webull account. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now I'm, I'm not gonna show that uh, just for security purposes and then we'll go to the next, uh, the next step and that is to download uh, the Google Authenticator app. Now, this is essentially what's gonna keep this whole transaction secure. Um, you're going to constantly go back and forth and type in the code that Google Authenticator is giving you. So when you open up the Google Authenticator, uh, you're going to click on the plus icon and then you are going to copy uh, the key. Now you can scan the QR code, but for me, I'm doing it on my phone, so I don't really know how to do that quite yet. Uh, if I'm on the phone without the camera app, how do I scan the QR code? We'll figure that out later. All right, and then once we do that, we're going to pick how much money we are going to send out uh, of Bitcoin. So for this example, I'm going to send out around $70. Um, now I do have Coinbase wallet on my phone, so I'm going to I'm going to open up the app. Um, and I'm going to click receive, and then you can type in your Bitcoin address, just a quick copy. Now it has to be a Bitcoin address to Bitcoin, like you can't have your Ethereum address, like it has to be the same asset. And then once we do that, we're going to go back to uh, the Webull uh, transfer and we're going to paste in that that crypto address that we just got. All right. So I'm going to paste it in. And then once we do that, it's going to go to the confirm sending info page. Now it's going to show you the network fees, which is not associated with Webull. Um, you're going to see the fees by Webull, which there are none. And then the total quantity after everything, what's going to be sent to the Coinbase wallet from the Webull wallet. All right. So then we're just going to do a confirmation that we're sending out um, all of the crypto. So we're going to do that. And then you're going to need a, a six digit verification code from uh, Google Authenticator. So what you do is you go back to Google Authenticator, you get the code and you come back and type it in. All right. And then after that, you're going to see the confirmation page. Uh, the application submission was successful. So it did go through, but it, it's going to take a few minutes. Now it does say from 10 minutes to two business days. So let's see how long it takes. All right, so it was 10.30 uh, when I sent that out, as you can see in the, the, the screenshot and then also the confirmation email. Now 11.11 11, uh, is when it officially, officially went through. So that's essentially 41 minutes. And yeah, you could see it right there on the Coinbase uh, wallet. You could see it right there. So. It works, it's quick, it's simple, it's secure. It does take a minute, but it's still in beta, so they might find a way to uh, to, streamline the pro to streamline the process a little bit more. Now, that is it. That is essentially all I got for today's video. Now, I just wanted to throw out this quick tutorial because 
It is a new feature uh, being rolled out in beta. It's gonna be available to all of its users eventually. So if you plan on transferring your crypto in and out, which could be a way to avoid specific fees, um, to kind of spread out your cryptocurrency along along all the brokerages uh, because of stuff like this. So there's a lot of different reasons why you'd want to transfer your crypto in and out. So this gives you the flexibility of your crypto um, with Webull specifically. All right, that's it. That is all I got for today's video. Now, if you learned anything from this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps out a whole lot with the channel. And if you have any questions on anything that you saw in this video, you can either hit me up in the email description or just drop a comment. I will get to everything. Now, thank you again so much for watching, especially you to the end. And I'll see you next time. Peace.